Yeah, so let me tell you the big problem we have. Everybody in this room, here's the problem that we have. And probably there's going to be quite a few people watching on video too um, that are like us. You know, they're investors. <clears throat> and even if they're not multifamily investors, uh, they're going to be able to relate to this. And I don't know if it's a human condition, probably is. But let's just drill it down to multifamily ownership. Here's a problem we've all got. The problem is, we always think we can do a better job than the guy, and by guy I mean men, women, doesn't matter, than the guy that owns the property right now. <clears throat> right? So, every time I look at a property, <clears throat> I'm always thinking, there's all these things I can just do a much better job than that person can. Okay? Oh, here's all the things they're doing wrong, here's what I would do. Here's all the things they're doing, here's what I would do. And we're all like that. And so, if you ever inquire on a property that a broker has for sale, okay, um, a lot of times what the broker will tell you, if you're looking for guidance maybe on pricing, um, you know, maybe on what your offer should be, maybe what your letter of intent should be, a lot of the time the answer is, well, you should you use your criteria, use your underwriting criteria, okay? And the problem is our underwriting criteria is almost always based on how good we think we can do once we take over the property, right? Now, there's nothing wrong with that, and there's a long list of reasons why you want to do it that way, especially if it's realistic. The problem is... Sometimes we, over, we think we're a hell of a lot better than what we are. We, we do. We think we're a hell of a lot better at implementation, at management, um, at asset management, and all those kinds of things than we are. Okay? Um, that's number one. But the big, big problem here is with time frames. So the biggest mistakes I've made um, you know, over the last 30 years in terms of uh, properties that, let's just say, haven't worked out. I mean, there's a hell of a lot that have worked great. A lot of really great things. There's a few that didn't work out at all. And one of the main reasons is what I'm talking about, but as it relates to time and how long it will take. So in other words, what I'm saying is a lot of us tend to think it's going to take a hell of a lot less time in getting a property, a business, um, a business opportunity, uh, a franchise, whatever, from where it is now to where it can realistically be. We think it's going to take this long, it always takes that long, and maybe even longer. Um, and a lot of that stems from you know, here's we're we're held a lot better at what the current owner is doing and how he or she's managing it and their processes and systems. You know, once we get our processes and systems in place, man, I mean we're we're off to the races. And we'll be doing it fast, quickly, and especially if you're working with investors or partners, oh man, in you know, sixty days we'll have this, ninety days we'll have that. Well, you know, after like three or four weeks of digging into it, you find out, yeah, maybe this is gonna take a lot longer. <laughs> Uh, maybe it could be twice as long, three times as long. Um, that happens. So you want to be careful. Uh, you don't want to not be optimistic in terms of what you realistically think you can do with a multifamily property you're going to buy. And, and by the way, this has to do with anything else you invest in, really. Because, you know, if you really think you're buying it and you're going in at some kind of a discount, uh, this is good. Okay. Uh, but you want to be real careful about just how quickly you think you can get things done, um, how easy they will be, uh, and the amount of resistance on all kinds of fronts that you will face. Uh, because, guys, if it was that easy, everybody would be doing it, right? That's, I mean, there's a lot of truth to that. 
So, uh, again, just be aware of the fact that we're all like this. Um, be aware of the fact that you, we're all look at each other's thing and we think we could be doing it so much better. Be aware of that. Um, if, if the property, investment, whatever, you know, your, your, your deal. If that makes sense, then, yeah, proceed. But with the things in mind that we just discussed here. Okay?